Hello, Christian and channel members, viewers and subscribers. Very good day to you all. So in this video, I'm going to share you a very happy news that uh, I have got the German patent granted. So it's, of course, a very happy news for all our channel members uh, because this German patent, I started uh, this idea back in uh, February 2022. The idea, uh, uh, the procedure, everything I have formed uh, in accordance with the German patent requirements and the process was started by uh, February 2022. So thank God that uh, it was granted by August uh, 2022. So as uh, you see in all the application, as you see in the procedure, like everything will be displayed in the German language. So it is not displayed in English. It will be displayed in the German language. And of course, the uh, patent certificate also comes in the German language. If needed, you can translate because uh, they are giving uh, respect to the German language uh, specifically. Okay, so we will have a pattern number that is associated. And once again, I should uh, remind our channel members that uh, uh, many uh, in the social media that everybody tries to say, I have got a pattern. Okay, so when we look into it, they, it is only filed. So maybe the filing procedure, maybe it will take maybe one week. Okay. Uh, irrespective of the country pattern so it will take maybe five days okay and uh, maybe 15 days normal procedure fast track maybe one week and they say uh, we have got the pattern so it is not the uh, that way so if it is granted means it should have a pattern number and of course it should be internationally recognizable so that is the uh, key advantage of the german pattern so of course in this video i will be showing you uh my, my documents associated with it and of course um, what are the advantages and how it can be internationally recognizable so that we would discuss in this video so i would rather request you not to skip any portion of this video because i will be sharing you in detail about this german pattern so let us not waste our time let us go straight into how this german pattern has got granted so all information about this german pattern grant i have uh, displayed in my research gate profile so in the research gate, you can uh, search for my name and of course, uh, the recently uh, published article, you can find the German patent grant. So this is an IoT, Internet of Things, enabled device for warning people from electrically shorted poles at public places. So this idea is of great use to the public, uh, the society, the people. Uh, to the country as well as uh, to the world even so you can find that the pattern number has been displayed 20 then space 2022 space 104 space uh, 409.0 okay so uh, normally it uh, comes under g08b 21 slash 00 so that is the uh, ipc section number uh, that i am pointing to so within that you will find uh, you know this uh, number which is the pattern number uh, for this German pattern and this is the title but normally if you see in the web website or maybe uh, in the document you can find only the German version so here I have collaborated with the, some authors even and of course you can find the abstract over here I'm not going to get into much into this abstract you can uh, read them and of course I have displayed the public full text even so as you see it is displayed fully in the German language we have you know the number even 20 20 22 and then 104 409 it's actually 0 0.0 okay the title they have given also the collaborators everything uh, i mentioned also the ipc number is g08b 21 slash 00 okay so it was uh, uh, as you can see uh, 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 from other country patterns normally you will know okay this has been filed this has been published this has been granted but here in the german pattern they will publish it only if it is granted so uh, you can find uh, the filing number and the grant uh, uh, date even and uh, this has been during august okay you can find the required signatories even so it has been granted during 16 8 2022 and uh, it will take roughly around like uh, one and a half months or maybe two months for uh, uh, reflecting in the patent gazette okay so this is the thing i would like to share with you on also um, uh, in the google whenever you go with the german patent search because uh, um, 
this is how you should go like a german pattern search okay normally like 2022 since my uh, idea was actually uh, filed during 2022 so uh, no, normally we are searching german pattern search 2022 and the first research uh, research result corresponds to dpma.de so here we are going to click on this uh, dpma.de okay so uh, here you can see uh, two things okay in the pattern search dpma register and uh, Departis net okay so what we are going to do we are going to go with the dpma uh, register to have an advanced search okay so it is displayed in the german language i'm going to translate into the english language so here you can see straight to basic research okay so you have like patterns utility models topographies and supplementary protection certificates so you are going to click on this one okay so you can see all this information here so here uh, you can see uh, uh, you know the uh, property right uh, type file number designation applicant owner or inventor so what i'm going to do i'm going to search for my name okay so christo anand okay and i'm uh, in the down you need not have to give anything okay just go into start research okay so when we go into the start research you can find my information here okay so here again we are going to translate into english so we can better understand it so here property right type it is utility model status still it is uh, pending in effect it will show like this one but it is granted okay and also like uh, the title uh, it's in english language okay iot enabled device to warn people of electrically shorted poles in public places okay so the ipc class they have mentioned ipc major class minor class everything has been displayed and you can find all the information you can find my information here okay and of course uh, you can see that uh, the due date is 2025 we are right now in 2022 so uh, during the month of august so three years they will give for this registration charges okay and they have the maintenance fee for the fourth year to sixth year that you can also see and the, the dates okay the preliminary examination or pre-trial was conducted during the 3rd august 2022 and registration or the grant has been given for 16 august 2022 and after one and a half months or two months you can find uh, this information in the pattern gazette so just like indian pattern uh, you will find it in the pattern gazette as well and you can uh, verify all this stuff okay so what we are going to do here uh, as i as i told you um, uh, this information uh, the pattern gazette okay so just click on uh, maybe in this page if you see pattern gazette okay so if you click on the pattern gazette you will find all this information you can see that it is a uh, pattern uh, gazette number 36 okay dated september 8 2022 so maybe it will update okay maybe one month or maybe one and a half months or maybe two months and after that it will be showing in this entire document okay so i'm clicking on this entire document uh, this is the uh, entire pattern gazette like 119 pages are there and here you can check for this number okay so as i told you it was just uh, granted during 16th august of course maybe uh, it will come during september or maybe october so that is the maximum limit that we can make for and uh, also as uh, as mentioned here okay as mentioned in our document g08b2100 it's actually a ca uh, classification okay so i'm going to show you this one uh, g08b uh, 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 the classification everything has been displayed very clearly so uh, maybe if you try to uh, translate okay maybe translate in the google event so you are getting uh, uh, this uh, particular translation like uh, alarms that respond to unspecified undesired or anomalous conditions so for this unspecified uh, criteria uh, they have given for the uh, you know the grant of the pattern okay also uh, i i'm also uh, going to translate this part okay like uh, g uh, g uh, 01 r 19 slash 00 so that also uh, like uh, we are having the information here and after translation i have got this search result so since our grant is uh, related to electrical part so it shows arrangements for measuring electrical power or power factors so since this falls into the electrical part so it belongs to this classification g01r 19000 so for uh, electrical electronics or maybe any uh, uh, field even they will give a classification and they will be uh, classifying according to the main class as well as secondary class so you can find the application date uh, 3rd august and of course 
date of registration of the model or maybe the grant they have given to be 16 august okay so as i told you the process or maybe the procedure everything is visible to you only after grant you cannot uh, search for it before grant okay so that is the process i i would like to show you and uh, of course you can find it is under preliminary uh, examination and registration of the utility model uh, even so here i would like to show you the fees uh, general fees for the utility model protection so generally as i told you it is uh, uh, as they give preference for the german language so the uh, currency is also displayed in the german currency it is in euro okay if you can convert 1 euro is equal to 80 rupees so for the registration fee for the electronic registration is 30 euro so roughly you can say 2400 rupees for the electronic registration and for registration in the paper form it will be 40 euros so roughly around 3200 rupees okay and search fee 250 uh, rupees uh, i mean sorry 250 euro okay so uh, roughly around 15000 uh, rupees okay so that is a search fee okay and maintenance after i mean maintenance fee after 3 years it is 210 euro okay maintenance fee after 6 years 350 euro and maintenance fee after 8 years it is 530 euro okay and request for deletion they were having the charge of 300 euro so you can find all this information here and uh, this is how it goes and for fourth year to sixth year it has been displayed in uh, uh, our uh, a particular link as well you can find over here and you can follow accordingly okay so this is how it goes with the patent fee also they have given the payment deadlines and the notices as well so you have to uh, make sure that the filing uh, fee must be received by the D, uh, dpma within three months of the filing date so that should be the uh, exact scenario and uh, uh, they have given uh, you know pct uh, fees even okay right uh, for the registration fee it is 40 euro roughly around 3200 rupees and for search fee it is 250 euro roughly around 15000 in indian rupees so this is how it goes and everything has been given crystal clear so this is the general fee they have given it very crystal clear in the german patent website dpma.de and if you have any clarification if you have any queries Please share them in the comment section. So I am sure that you would have enjoyed much out of this video about this German pattern grant. You can share your experiences if you have any doubts or maybe clarifications. You can share them in the comment section. And of course, if you want to collaborate with me for any country pattern even, that also you can uh, discuss in the chat section even. The comment section you can uh, use them and of course uh, my uh, phone number and my email id as uh, you would know them better you can of course email me or maybe you can contact me through whatsapp even through telegram even you can contact me even in the comment section also you can chat with me of course i will be happy to respond all your queries so thank you once again for continuously supporting our channel you have been with me through the ups and downs in my career See you then in another interesting video about uh, any journal review or maybe an academic achievement as well. Till then, collaboration is everything.